Hi, how are you today? This time, we're going to continue our lesson with the topic, Reported Speech. When do we need reported speech? We need reported speech when we want to repeat what has been said by another person. Perhaps, the other person did not hear the utterance clearly. Listen to the conversation between Jenny and Irma. Do you like coffee, Jen? Of course, I like the taste and the good smell. There is a good coffee shop near my house. Do you often go to the coffee shop? I go there at weekends. Let's go to the coffee shop this weekend. Now, Irma is talking with Mia. I heard you met Jen last time. Yes, she came to my house. What did you two girls talk about? We talked about coffee. I asked her if she liked coffee. She said she liked the taste and the good smell. I told her there was a good coffee shop near my house. She asked me if I often went to the coffee shop. I told her I went there at weekends. I invited her to go to the coffee shop at that weekend. Now let's check how the utterances of Jenny's and Irma's are reported. Irma's utterance, Do you like coffee, Jen? It's reported into, I asked her if she liked coffee. Number two, Jen's utterance, I like the taste and the good smell. It's reported, she said that she liked the taste and the good smell. Number three, Irma's statement, there is a good coffee shop near my house. It's reported, I told her that there was a good coffee shop near my house. Number four, Jen's utterance, do you often go to the coffee shop? It's reported, she asked me if I often went to the coffee shop. Number five, Irma's utterance. I go there at weekends. It's reported. I told her I went there at weekends. Number six, Irma's utterance. Let's go to the coffee shop this weekend. It's reported. I invited her to go to the coffee shop at that weekend. As you can see, there are some differences between the direct speech and the reported speech. How are the utterances reported? There are many rules that we have to know for this. Pronouns like she, he, it, they, we, I, you, etc. change when necessary. For example, Jen said, I have a new bike. In the reported speech, it becomes, Jen said that she had a new bike. In these sentences, we can see that I has changed into she, because I in the first sentence means Jen, and then in the second sentence, she there means Jen. Tenses change when the introductory word like said, asked, etc. is in the past form. For example, Brin said, we live in Semarang. It's reported in two. Brin said that they lived in Semarang. The next example, Tarek said, I bought tiles in a home supermarket. It's reported. Tarek said that he had bought tiles in a home supermarket. From these four sentences, we can see that live is changed into lived, and then bought is changed into had bought. How do tenses change? Present becomes past, past becomes past perfect. Therefore, 
simple present tense becomes simple past tense. For example, I have breakfast at 5. It becomes I had breakfast at 5. Simple past tense becomes past perfect tense. For example, I had breakfast at 5 becomes I had had breakfast at 5. Present continuous tense becomes past continuous tense. For example, she is cleaning the house becomes she was cleaning the house. Past continuous tense becomes past perfect continuous tense. For example, she was cleaning the house becomes she had been cleaning the house. Present perfect tense becomes past perfect tense. For example, mom has cooked dinner becomes mom had cooked dinner. Tense does not change if the utterance is telling a general truth, which is true all the time. For example, the teacher said, The sun rises in the east. In the reported speech, it becomes, The teacher said that the sun rises in the east. As you can see, that rises remains rises. It does not change into, The teacher said, that the sun rose in the east. The last sentence is wrong because the fact that the sun rises in the east is true all the time. Therefore, we do not change the tense of this kind of general truth. Tenses in adverbial clauses in past form do not change. For example, he said, I was reading a magazine when my father came home. In the reported speech, it becomes, he said that he had been reading a magazine when his father came home. In this sentence, we can find, when my father came home is a time clause, and the form of the time clause is past form. Therefore, came is not changed into had come. Therefore, the answer, he said that he had been reading a magazine when his father had come home, is wrong. Time changes. Direct speech and indirect speech have different time markers. Today becomes that day. Yesterday becomes the day before or the previous day. The day before becomes two days before. Tomorrow becomes the next day or the following day. Tonight becomes that night. The day after tomorrow becomes in two days time. Next week or next year becomes the following week or the following year. Last week or last year becomes the previous week or the previous year. A year ago becomes a year before or the previous year. Now becomes then. This in time expressions is changed into that. Remember, only in time expressions. For example, he said, She is coming this week. In the reported speech, he said that she was coming that week. This week becomes that week. It is because it is used to express time. This, that, these, those, as adjectives, are changed into the. For example, he said, I bought this watch from my mother. In the reported speech, it becomes, he said that he had bought the watch for his mother. Second example, Andrew said, 
We get fruits from those trees. In the reported speech, it becomes Andrew said they got fruits from the trees. In these four sentences, we can find that this is changed into the and those is changed into the. This or these as pronoun are changed into it, they, or them. For example, he said, we will discuss this tomorrow. He said that they would discuss it the next day. The next example, Lynn said, these are my lovely pets. In the reported speech, it becomes, Lynn said that they were her lovely pets. So, in these two sentences, we can see that this as pronoun is changed into it because it is singular, while these as pronoun is changed into the because it is plural. Here is change into there when it is clear what place is meant. For example, at the station, he said, I'll be here again tomorrow. Then, in the reported speech, it becomes, at the station, he said that he'd be there again the next day. So there refers to the station. Would, should, ought, had better, might, used to, and must not, do not normally change. For example, he said, I would help him if I could. In the reported speech, it becomes, he said that he would help him if he could. Must in the meaning of obligation does not change. But if it means necessity, it should be changed into have to or had to. For example, he said, I must do the homework. In the reported speech, he said that he must do the homework. Second example, he said, I must go home now. In the reported speech, he said that he had to go home then. From these two sentences, we can see that the first sentence, I must do the homework, is not changed into had to, because must in this case means obligation. Doing homework is an obligation. Second example, I must go home now, is changed into had to go home then. In this sentence, must, it is not an obligation, but it is a necessity. It is necessary for the man to go home then. Now, let's continue with the patterns or the structures of the reported speech. There are three kinds of utterances. Statements, questions, and comments or requests. Statements. Look at the example. Jen said, I like coffee. In the reported speech, it becomes, she said that she likes coffee. From this sentence, we can see that there are two parts of sentence here. The first one is the introductory phrase. She said. The second one is the reported utterance. Remember, the reported utterance must be in the form of subject plus verb. And in this case, it is she liked coffee. Questions with WH question word. For example, Jen asked, Where do you live, kid? She asked the kid where he lived. Question 2. Alex asked, 
How did you get to the museum yesterday? In the reported speech, Alex asked how I had got to the museum the day before. From these two sentences, we can conclude that the reported questions contains introductory phrase linking word which consists of WH question word and the reported utterance which is in the form of subject plus verb. As we can see that, in the first example, Jen asked the kid, it's the introductory phrase. And then where, it's the linking word. And then, he lived, it is a reported utterance, which contains he, subject, and verb lived. In the second sample, the introductory phrase is Alex asked. And then the linking word is how. And then the reported utterance is I had got to the museum the day before. Remember, we need to use subject verb in the reported utterance. So, I had got to the museum. I is the subject. Had got is the verb. Yes, no questions. Look at the examples. Jen said, Do you work in a bank? It is reported in two. She asked me if I worked in a bank. Second example. Maria asked, Was Miss Brown your English teacher? In the reported speech, it becomes, Maria asked whether Miss Brown had been my English teacher. From these two questions, we cannot find any WH question word there. And therefore, in the reported speech, we need to replace the WH question word with whether or if. And therefore, the patterns will be introductory phrase combined with linking word whether or if and then reported utterance which consists of subject and verb. So in the first example, the introductory phrase is she asked me and then the linking word is if. And then the reported utterance, I worked in a bank. For the second sample, Maria asked, is the introductory phrase. And then the linking word, whether. And the reported utterance is, Miss Brown had been my English teacher. Comments or requests. Look at the two examples. Andrew said, Stop barking, Nero. Andrew told Nero to stop barking. Second example. Howie said, Jim, would you close the door, please? In the reported speech, Howie told Jim to close the door. From these two sentences, we can conclude that there are two parts of sentences here. The first one is introductory phrase. And then the other one is two plus verb one. For example, Andrew told Nero it's introductory phrase. And then to stop barking is two verb one. Example two. How we told Jim is the introductory phrase. And then, the second part is the two verb one, to close the door. Now, let's do exercises. Choose the most correct reported speech for the utterance. Number one, he said, I like this song. A. He said that he liked this song. B. He said that I liked that song. C. He said that he likes that song. D. He said that he likes this song. 
E. He said that he liked that song. Question 2. Where is your brother? She asked me. A. She asked me where is my brother. B. She asked me where my brother was. C. She asked me where her brother is. D. She asked me where was her brother. E. She asked me where was my brother. Question 3. She said, My kids don't speak French. A. She said that her kids don't speak French. B. She said that my kids didn't speak French. C. She said that her kids didn't speak French. D. She said that my kids don't speak French. E. She said that my kids have not spoken French. Question 4. Say hello to Susan, please. Mom said to Wendy. A. Mom told Wendy that she says hello to Susan. B. Mom said that Wendy should say hello to Susan. C. Mom told Susan to say hello to Wendy. D. Mom says Susan should say hello to Wendy. E. Mom told Wendy to say hello to Susan. Question 5. Timmy said, The exhibition closed yesterday. A. Timmy said that the exhibition closed yesterday. B. Timmy said that the exhibition closed the day before. C. Timmy said that the exhibition had closed the day before. D. Timmy said that the exhibition closes yesterday. E. Timmy said that the exhibition has closed the day before. Now, please check your answers. One, he said, I like this song. The answer is, he said that he liked that song. Question 2. Where is your brother? She asked me. The answer is B. She asked me where my brother was. Question 3. She said, My kids don't speak French. The answer is C. She said that her kids didn't speak French. Question 4. Say hello to Susan, please. Mom said to Wendy. The answer is E. Mom told Wendy to say hello to Susan. Question 5. Jimmy said, The exhibition closed yesterday. The answer is C. Jimmy said that the exhibition had closed the day before. That is all the exercises. You can also do the other exercises in the link below. That is our lesson today. Thank you. Be kind. Be happy. God bless.